everyone, this is Beth Elderkin with iPadInsight.com and I am really excited to introduce the first ever video iPad game review for this website. It's been a long time coming, but I am excited to be able to bring these games to you in a more interactive way as opposed to just showing you screenshots. So, how are we going to start this first ever video review? Well, we're going to start by talking about The Room. No, not that The Room. Actually, this is an exclusive iPad release from new indie gaming company Fireproof Games. Now, the real question is, what kind of game is it? Is it a puzzle game? Adventure? Horror? Mystery? Where's Waldo? The point I'm trying to make is this game really doesn't have a defining genre. The closest I could really come up with is a puzzle game, but really, it's a lot more than that. It is a fully immersive gaming experience that really takes advantage of everything the iPad's touchscreen has to offer, more so than in games I've seen in a very long time. By searching through the various nooks and crannies in this room, whether it's inside a safe or trying to look around a sort of jewelry box, you start to unravel the mysteries of this room, which may or may not be supernatural, and the way you get to do it is undoubtedly the best part of this game. Let me sum up the controls by saying, if there's something that you can do in the real world, chances are you can do it in the game and they're going to make you do it. There is such a wide variety of interactivity in this game, likes of which I really haven't seen in many iPad releases before. It takes full advantage of that touchscreen capability, whether it's turning a key in order to open a tiny little latch, or you're sliding a letter out of an envelope, or even you know having to tilt or shift your perspective by holding the iPad in order to find a tiny little detail that's gonna help you solve that next puzzle. The environment in this game is pretty amazing, not just in how you interact with it, but really how it interacts with you. The visuals are very dark, and in addition, the sound effects are really, really eerie. I think it's why some people considered it a horror game, just from the music itself, because nothing really jumps out and scares you. There are no jump scares. There's no, there's no people in this game. You are by yourself. For example, there's one part where you finally figure out how to, you have your eyeglass, your magic little eyeglass, and you finally figure out how to put that lens in there, and you put it in, and you turn it on for the first time. Okay, what's, what's going on? Whoa, what's happening? This is really weird. And that's what works for this game. Even though this game does have a really immersive and unique environment, that's not to say it's always fun. It can actually be incredibly frustrating, especially for those like me who don't have that natural Sherlock Holmes instinct of being able to find things in very random and small places. But luckily, there are hints to be able to help people like me with those problems. Each major part of the puzzle will have a series of three hints to go along with it, which come out sequentially depending on how long you're stuck. By the time that third hint comes about, it's not gonna tell you everything, but it's gonna give you a really, really solid indication of where you're supposed to go. So even if you're not a big fan of puzzles, you can still follow along with this game. There may just be times where you have to wait a little bit more than you'd like to. So would I recommend this game? Absolutely. It was a really fun, immersive, and interactive game that really took advantage of everything that the iPad can do in ways that I haven't seen before. This game currently has four chapters and the developers have expressed interest in adding more in the future. And I really hope that they do. This is an exciting and unique puzzle game and I look forward to seeing what the developers have in store in the future. This game is priced at $4.99 and is available in the Apple Store. A promo code for this game was provided through Fireproof Studios. For more information regarding the site's game review policies, you can visit the About page in the link provided below.